Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm super excited to bring you this video today. I got this package into mail today and I can't wait to share it with you. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a while, which I know, <laughs> to be honest, not a lot of people have, uh, but in some of my earlier videos, when I first started posting over the summer, I posted videos of through the mail or TTM autograph successes where I would send cards off to players, uh, sometimes with money, sometimes with not, uh, as a donation for their time and their effort. And then they would hopefully send the cards back to me and I'd have a nice autograph card. And so if you go back on my channel, you'll see I have a few successful um, TTMs through the mail successes with guys like Ryan Sandberg, Andre Dawson, um, Goose Gossage, Max Muncy I got uh, after the season as well. And so one of them that I had sent off that hadn't been sent back yet, um, I was kind of a little bit um, nervous about because I was really looking forward to getting this guy's signature. Uh, in full disclosure, there's a, a website called sportscardforum.com, and you can Google it if you want. And if you sign up, you can get access to a lot of the, the people who are good at signing, and it includes their address on there as well. I don't want to, like, you know, give out any addresses on on camera. That's why I have everything co covered up right here. But if you go to that website and you're interested in it, uh, they'll give you an idea of who's pretty good to mail stuff to. That way you're not just, you know, blindly throwing uh, throwing letters out there at, at guys who, who will never, never send anything back. And so this is a guy who had some awesome feedback. Other people had sent stuff to him and he'd return it within a couple days or within a couple weeks. And and a lot of times he would include handwritten notes or, or go above and beyond. And obviously what's happened here with me um, this person has gone above and beyond because I, all I did was send one baseball card, um, in, in the regular sized envelope and I've got an entire package here. So I want to show you and talk a little bit about him. Uh, I kind of messed up and exposed my address the first time. And so I have actually opened the envelope and you can see here, I've kind of cut it, but I haven't read the letter or anything that's inside. Um, I, I accidentally showed my address and so I had to stop taping and, and restart just because I didn't want my address out there. So I apologize. Anyway, here's the player, Carl Erskine. And if you've never heard of Carl Erskine, you might be like me and you weren't honestly alive whenever he played. Uh, but to give you a little bit of feedback, Carl Erskine played in the 19, late 1940s and then throughout um, some of the 1950s as well. He played his whole career with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, excuse me, actually with the Brooklyn Dodgers, and then played two seasons with the L.A. Dodgers when they moved from Brooklyn to Los Angeles. And so this guy has so many stories, right? I believe he's 93 years old right now, and he played with Jackie Robinson. He was a pitcher who got to throw to Roy Campanella, a Hall of Famer. He had Pee Wee Reese as his in, one of his infielders, a Hall of Famer. Um, he played with and was a roommate of Duke Snyder, um, another Hall of Fame player. Uh, later on in his career, he played with Sandy Koufax when he was coming up with the Dodgers. And so this guy has so much experience, so many great tales, I'm sure, of playing in New York and Brooklyn, Polo Grounds, Ebbets Field, Shide Park in Philadelphia, uh, some of those iconic baseball stadiums that you just see in black and white pictures or on reruns of the, the baseball documentary, you know, on uh, MLB Network. And so... Um, I, I looked up a, a few YouTube videos on him, Carl Erskine, and he, you can see in his interviews, he's just got a passion for the game, and, and he still loves talking about baseball, sharing his experiences, and spreading the love. Um, to be honest, I didn't know a lot about him, so I had to just Google stuff myself. After he retired uh, in the early 1950s, he was a college baseball coach back at his home state of Indiana. You can see this is he mailed this from Indiana. He even paid postage out of his own pocket. Um, in Indiana, went into banking. He's worked a lot with the Special Olympics. I believe uh, his son is a, a special needs um, uh, Special Olympian um, with Down syndrome. And so I work really closely um, in, in a school district myself, and, and we have Special Olympians that really do awesome things. And so when I sent him my original envelope uh, with my card in it, I wrote a short letter about how I've worked with Special Olympians uh, through my job. And they're just a joy to, to be around and, and just amazing people. And I included, I think, $10 or $5 donation um, for his contributions to um, what he could use, whatever he wanted to, sorry, for, for Special Olympics in his, in his neck of the woods out there in Indiana. So um, without further ado here, I'll just show you what he's, he's sent. Um, take it off camera so I don't accidentally expose my address. I apologize that 
I did that earlier. So this is Carl Erskine. Um, and look, look some stuff up on him. He won 20 games in the major leagues one year. Um, he was an all-star. He got uh, MVP votes the year he went 20 and 6. Uh, at one point, he had uh, the record for the most strikeouts in a World Series game. Uh, he won one World Series when he was with the Dodgers, when they were still in Brooklyn. And so look what we have here. This is his book, The Parallel. Jackie Robinson, obviously on the left. Jimmy, I believe this is his son, on the right. Witnessing two of the greatest social changes in my lifetime by Carl Erskine. And on the back, thanks for taking the two journeys with me. Keep the momentum going. That's his signature. Obviously, Jackie Robinson, and I believe that's his son. And I kind of peeked in this earlier. This is where I accidentally exposed my address. He sent back my card. It's right here in the front of the... This was what I originally sent him, the self-addressed stamp envelope. Here's a letter. I haven't even read that yet. And look what we have in here. This is awesome. And so it says, Carl Erskine, Special Olympics, Indiana. Uh, this is him on the left, his son in the middle, and Tommy Lasorda on the right. That's awesome. And then there, 11, 22, 19. Wow. So that was about right when I sent it to him. I wonder why it took all the way until the end of end of January for this to reach my my house. And look at this. It's just got whoops. All sorts of stories. There's Jackie Robinson stuff. All sorts. There's that was a picture of him with Jackie Robinson at a high school. Um this is going to be awesome to read. I can't believe he did this. Completely out of his own goodwill. This is amazing. There's his society. There he is in a more recent picture. Um, through his, his foundation to help support Special Olympians. And so I really do uh, encourage you guys, if you're a person who just wants to to be involved or wants to send something to him to look up his address on that sports cards forum. He's an seems like an awesome person. Um, here's what I sent him. I'm going to try not to expose my address here. I sent him this card. You can see he signed it. Carl Erskine, Brooklyn Dodgers. All right. I'll read this really quickly. I know. Well, you know, you guys can probably pause it if you want to read it. I won't take your time. And then he sent me this handwritten note. And I'll kind of take it off camera really fast. Um, okay, I think I can, I'll just read it to you here. It says a message from Carl Erskine. It says, thanks for writing. And I just, I just asked him some general questions about baseball. It says, uh, the pressure was there as a professional. Um, but uh, as you were too, or you know how to deal with it and do your job. I was fortunate to play with some all-time greats. Duke Snyder was my roommate for 10 seasons. I played with Jackie for nine. He was the most exciting player in baseball. I'm sending you and your uh, wife a book I wrote to, the, to, wrote to help Special Olympics Indiana and acknowledge their donors. Uh, I admire teachers and those who help special needs. Best personal regards, Carl Erskine. That's amazing. That's awesome right there. So I can't say thanks enough to Carl uh, for not just, I mean, I would have been happy just to get my card signed back like this but for a handwritten note and uh, a book kind of telling his story and the story of his son. Um, that's just, that's just amazing, amazing stuff. So uh, I, I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching the video this long. And if you do ever uh, get a chance to look up some stuff on Carl Erskine, even if you don't want to write him a note and send him any donations or get a card autographed, because he doesn't really have too many cards you know, around right now, uh, as far as recent cards, except like this out of Diamond Kings, uh, I would at least just encourage you to, to Google him or YouTube uh, Carl Erskine, and you'll be able to see all of the cool stuff and just hear the passion in his voice and just listen to some of his stories, because... He just seems like an amazing guy and somebody that we can all learn from. So thanks again for watching this video. 
I'll be back in a couple days with, uh, with some more posts, and if you do enjoy it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much.